Hi there, Cookie Cat. I'm going to try and show you how to fit your camera to your rifle scope. This is just a regular rifle scope. Uh, you're best with one that hasn't got too much uh, magnification, just keep it low, like 3 to 9 is fine. This is a, a 1.5 to 6, which is very good actually. You'll need a camera lens or filter adapter. This part is 30mm to suit this camera which is a Sony with night shot. If you want to be recording at night that's the one you want. You want the night shot version. Um, to attach your adapter ring you want some aluminium foil tape that seems to work the best. That's sticky tape from a hardware store, DIY store. Put a couple of layers of that on, like that, and then you need to attach that to your scope. And then put some black insulation tape over that, just to make it look nice afterwards. If you're not too bothered about uh, shooting at night, you could use a lot of different cameras. Uh, I use the Sony camcorder because I do use it at night time and it's the only one with a um, night shot on it which is the infrared vision on it. Uh, this is the scope which is a 6 to 24 that I use most of the time shooting targets and things and just messing about. But this, a low magnification one, is, is the best one to go for really. I say that because when you put it onto the camera, that's what the camera sees until you zoom it in. And I'd say that's probably to about seven and a half, eight times zoom, that is. And that's why I say you don't need a scope with a lot of magnification on it. When it comes to illumination, there's uh, several choices. The best choice is this one, which I'll show you in a minute. But uh, this is an infrared LED lamp. I got this off eBay. Um, I'll tell you where I'll tell you where I got them from because it's quite hard to find things like this. It's quite efficient. It doesn't use too much battery power. Another one you can use is an infrared filter. It's not a red filter, it's infrared, so don't get confused with that. I'll show you the difference. This infrared can't see a thing through it on normal vision, but if I switch over to night shot, which is an infrared spectrum, you can still see through it. It's quite spooky really. And uh, another thing, with this uh, illuminator, I'll tell you about it in a moment, that, as you can see, in infrared, you can't see in normal vision, which means you can't see it with the naked eye. It doesn't show up. But this, uh, this is the best way to illuminate your targets. This has a little switch on the back there, little indicator lamp there to tell you that it's on and a focus on there for the light beam. If I switch back to infrared you can see the beam is adjustable like that. And I used that wide beam at about 10 meters but if you're going to be shooting at any distance and the most really you can shoot with a camcorder like this is really 50 yards because it's not a dedicated night vision system. Something to think about when you're buying a camera if you haven't already got one is if you've got a rifle with a lot of recoil you want to get a camera that has uh, an SD card or um, some sort of solid state memory because the recoil will damage the hard drive. 
in the likes of this cam which I'm using at the minute. Uh, also, if you're not going to be using the camera at night, then obviously you don't need the illuminator and you don't need the night shot thing. So you can get a lot cheaper camera. Um, there's a lot of other cameras out there that will do the job just as well. Just need to make sure you've got about 10 times magnification on the camera to zoom in. Otherwise, you, you can't see the full, you know, the full view in the scope. 